It was a tough weekend for the Worcester Railers who dropped both games this past weekend, but it's a new week and it's a new set of games as the Railers travel to Glens Falls to take on the Adirondack Thunder on Friday and Sunday. I'm Cam McGuire and this is your Worcester Railers Weekly Report. On Friday night versus the Newfoundland Growlers, Worcester would strike on the power play for their fifth time in their last six games to take a 1-0 lead. This time, thanks to the captain, Barry Almeida's second man advantage score of the season. Despite a 1-0 lead heading into the second period, the defending Kelly Cup champs would score three times in the first seven minutes of the middle stanza to take a 3-1 lead. Just seven seconds after the Growlers' third score of the evening, J.D. Dudek with a laser beam of a wrist shot to cut the deficit back down to one. And now for the rookie forward, he ranks second on the club with two goals, four assists for six points. Yeah, no, it's been good. Um, it's been good to follow some of the older guys we have in the room. Uh, Barry's been great, obviously, having JST, KT, and just a lot of the older guys have just made it really comfortable and easy to come in here and allow uh, just other rookies and myself to be able to do what we can. Unfortunately, Newfoundland tacked on one more goal in the second period as well as one in the third as they skated to a 5-2 win over the Railers. Saturday night saw a great crowd on tap for the Railers' Thunder game, but also for the annual Guns and Hoses game between the Worcester Fire and Worcester Police on W6 Tribute Night, which featured Hockey Hall of Famer Ray Boric, who dropped the puck before the Railers took on the Adirondack Thunder. Well, there was no question about it that the Railers looked sharp in their specialty jerseys on the ice, but Worcester suffered their fourth straight loss after the Thunder were able to score twice in the final period in a route to a 2-0 victory. Second year netminder Evan Beitenheis looked sharp in net for the Railers as he earned third star of the game after making 28 saves on 30 shots. And for Beitenheis, he built his confidence in the contest heading into a busy month of November. I felt really good, you know, first period they were all over us kind of thing, got a lot of shots, so definitely the first chance to really get into it this season and uh, looking forward to continuing that through November and obviously we got a big schedule coming up here. The Railers head to Adirondack this weekend for a game Friday and Sunday and despite a four game losing streak, the mood and the spirits are still high in the locker room and Railers assistant coach Derek Army had this to say about the vibe surrounding the team. The mood in the room, um, you know, it's it's Everyone's a little down in a sense of, uh, you know, where we're at, but um, we know it's early and, uh, you know, we had a good week so far, a good couple practices, and, uh, you know, we've got experience in the locker room. We've got guys who have been there, so um, it's nothing new. It's just a little adversity earlier in the season than we wanted, um, but it, it's something that, you know, you, you want in these sports. You, some of these guys want a chance to play, and some of them are going to get a chance to play, so it's, it's about coming up big in those moments. So, uh, you know, for us, we got to be... Um, hungry for the challenge and you know even more detailed even better just like you know for example the Islanders are right now with their injuries and they, they come out hungry every night. Both games can be heard live on 98.9 Nash Icon this weekend Friday 7 p.m. puck drop and then Sunday at 3 p.m. Pre-game coverage starting 30 minutes before both contests. For the Worcester Railers I'm Cam McGuire.